Talk Nerd and Me presents Comic Book Vidcast for the October 9th comics. With your host, the Ambassador, Pablo Gunner. And uh, we have our sponsors, Kaboom Test Labs, Age of Comics, and uh, Twin Sons. And if you want to know more about them, go ahead and click on the links and the images of them on our page. Mm hmm. Yes. Uh, we are Talk Nerd to Me. We review comics. Uh, on this uh, vidcast, as we call it, we cover our cover of the week, our panel of the week, and our spread of the week. Now, panel, smaller, usually doesn't take up the whole page. You know, might take up a good percentage, but it's usually the, the smaller ones. Yeah. Spread could be two pages, could be three pages, could be four pages if they manage it. We have seen that done before. Yeah. Yeah, ask uh, for every evil number one about four page. Superman Unchained. Four page flip out. Yep. Okay. So, and then our back and bag of the week, which is our best book of the week. You know, sometimes we agree, sometimes we don't. Yeah. So, we'll see how things go this week. All right. Um, now, me, my cover of the week was Superman Wonder Woman number oh, one. Mine as well. Well, look at that. Fancy that, huh? Now, you can imagine why we have the same cover of the week. Uh, well, it's it's like a spread, pretty much. It's like a poster. You yeah. know, it flips out. You know, <laughs> and that was a surprise to me. And it's the promo poster. I didn't think they would use the actual promo poster yeah, for it. Yeah, I didn't think so, so either. awesome. Okay, and... You get the cascade of Wonder Woman's villains, and then you get Superman's, Superman's villain. villains, and it looks awesome. And then it says, Love is a Battlefield, which is such a great song. I mean, come on, come on. It's a great song. Pat Vanatar, I can not love it, you know? So that was our cover of the week. Yeah. Now, uh, I believe we might have the same panel of the week as well which is from infinity part four of six yeah this is a great panel i love it Thro thor throws which his panel hammer. is it it's the one on the right on the top on the top right it's the big one and pretty much it has through thor through his hammer and it's coming back and it goes right through the builder and so you got the guts coming out and then when you're looking at it, Hammer, it's still kind of in motion and Thor's catching it and it's putting him back a little bit because this Hammer just went through space and came back. Of course, it's going to be going really fast. So, can you say epic? Because I can. That was freaking sick. Yeah, it came yeah. out of space, you know, so... And you can, like like you said, you, you can tell that, like, it just hit his hand and it's, like, taking his arm back. It's awesome. Awesome, you know? So, um... Alright, next we're going to go ahead and do our spread of... Do the spread of the week. Mine is uh, Wonder Woman and this guy right here. Doomsday. And you look at that and you have Tony S. Daniel... Spoiler alert! ...doing Doomsday and that's just terrifying. Because, uh, I... usually don't see Wonder Woman team going up against this guy. And then you, you just, they show the damage he's done and the people he's messed up in the panel. And then they got the good rain art going and the colors. It, it's just an amazing uh, spread. And uh, actually my spread of the week was actually in the same book. The next page to be exact. Yes, and there it is. It's like the the broken panels, the breakdown panels, you know, the small ones, and then just the text and the battle, you know, of them. That oh gosh, it, it was it was just so awesome because it's a two page spread, you know, I, as well. But it 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 felt like more though, you know, because it's like consists of like three, you know, separate panels with breakdowns of of smaller panels. You know, and and the text was great because it added so much more to it even, right? Yeah, it was just, yeah, this one right here was really good too. It kind of showed you the process she was going through. Mm-hmm. And it's cool, while you're doing that, you still heard Superman's thoughts as well. Yeah. So 
So, what was your B-Bow? My B-Bow was Infinity Part 4 of 6, which uh, actually had your panel of the week in it. Funny that, huh? Yeah, it had a good panel, but obviously the better spreads were in my B-Bow. Superman and Wonder Woman. So why was Infinity Years? Well, you know, the art was part of it. I mean, obviously you know that because you saw and chose your panel of the week from it, you know? I mean, that's part of it. But just because, you know, honestly, uh, Infinity has surprised me, you know? It, and it surprised me this week because I, I, I didn't think they could not only keep it up from, from the last issue that we read, but stepped it up a notch, you know, and, and they did, you know, there was that building intensity the whole time, you know, and just, oh gosh, and the thing is, is you pretty much knew what was going to happen, you just didn't know how it was going to play out, and seeing how it played out blew my mind. By the end of the issue, I was like, yes, oh my god, that was so awesome, because there were some knew, great books you knew they were gonna, You knew they were going to do the whole, try to get the Kree to join back mm -hmm. up, because... The way Captain America worded the, the surrender was, well, we don't have a sufficient force anymore. Yeah. Not, we surrender because we're powerless, but because we need everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's what they did. They got the Kree back. Yep. Which, yeah, they did. Which is surprising since they're such huge enemies. Yeah, from time to time. Yeah. But, you know... Speaking of great art, Superman Wonder Woman had great art. It had your spread and my spread in it as well. It was two different pages, too. And uh, what made this great was, of course, you got Tony S. Daniel. When you have this guy drawing, he can make anything look good. And then on top of that, you have Charles Soule doing what he does best with writing and he does this great suit superman and wonder woman he kind of shows why they're a conflicting couple at the same time because it's kind of like while they're good together they're kind of each other's yin and yang as well because they're completely the way they do their identities are completely different Clark is trying to stay hidden while Wonder Woman is kind of pretty much blunt and open about who she is. And then when it comes to fighting styles, Superman's all about strength while Wonder Woman's all about fighting skills and strategy. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can't go wrong with having an unknown deity attacking with Doomsday. Yeah. That really brought up the level and the fact that they really didn't show you he was common at all. He just showed up mm. randomly. Yeah, it made sense when he did show up. Yeah, I mean, I won't deny it was surprise. But, uh, you know, just because a book is a surprise doesn't always mean that it's the better back and back of the week. All right, well, why don't you decide, folks? Leave a comment, tell us what you thought of our back and bags, of our picks for the week, you know, for cover, panel, spread. Uh, obviously, uh, the ones that we agreed on, you don't really need to pick or choose. But if you want, you can always submit your picks to us by, uh, you know, you could email us at me the show uh, at yahoo.com. Or, you know, you could, uh, if you could tweet us. You know, at TNTM the show, or go to our Facebook or and just tell comment us, on the YouTube, which is TNTM the show as well. Yeah, comment on the YouTube. Tell us, tell us what you think. Uh, that's it for us here for this week for the comic book vidcast. Make sure you keep those eyes hungry for comics.